I was watching a video earlier, uh, kind of a, say, a retrospective listing of, of certain kinds of episodes of the 2002 reboot of He-Man, the much superior reboot of He-Man. Uh, and at one point, they mentioned that He-Man delivered a deadly blow that sent Skeletor running. Something there doesn't add up. <laughs> now, this is a problem that we see in martial arts a lot. You see, uh, uh, people love to play tough and act tough and come across as much tougher than they really are. And one of the big things that people do to, to show that is when they are doing certain techniques, they will refer to those techniques as deadly, as lethal. And I think some of this comes from the color commentary in combat sports. In fact, while we're on combat sports, stop calling your combat sports matches going to war. It's not war. It's barely a fight. Uh, in fact, I would argue if there's not full contact striking involved, it's not a fight. It's just a match. And even when there is full contact striking involved, it's questionable to how much of a fight it really is because there's not that much on the line. Uh, so it's one of those things like it technically it's a fight, but on the other side of it, right? Don't be too hard ass about it. You're still playing a game, right? You're just playing a game that has some potential, you know, serious con consequences. But the goal of the game is not to inflict those potentially serious consequences. And, you know, so like when we do these things, yes, nothing we do is safe. Yes, a lot of the techniques that we do have the capacity to, you know, maim or kill people, um, especially, you know, chokes and strangles. Uh, but but to, to a degree, any kind of knockout uh, is potentially going to you know, cause long-term injury uh, or, or even even death, um, especially if you consider when, you know, that most of the time when people die from a, a strike, it's not actually the strike that kills them, it's falling and hitting their head on the ground that does. And that stuff certainly does happen. Uh, people have died in the ring and people have died as a consequence of uh, their fighting or even their fight prep. That's a whole other thing. But the point is that the, it, death is not supposed to be on the line in combat sports. It is just a potential consequence due to the fact that we're doing something that's not safe. But what we're doing is we've actually stripped some of the inherent lethality out of it by putting in loads and loads of safety measures. And what we're doing is not going to war. So like, don't be such a hard ass about it. You know, all of these guys posturing and acting like super hard ass and everything, it, it's aggravating. And I actually think it makes the martial arts community look worse. I don't think it makes anybody look better. Yes, we all like to see victory. And yes, some people get enjoyment out of, out of all the shit talking. But honestly, I think that just makes it all, all look bad, not, not good. Um, and I'm not saying that everybody needs to be Leota Machida about it, though I do prefer those kind of fighters. I don't have a problem with the victory dance. I don't have a problem with celebrating a win. Um, but there's a huge difference between celebrating a win and reveling in somebody else's defeat. Like there's a, a chasm between those. And then just acting an ass all the time to, you know, in some way trying to, to show that you're the better guy. And while we're on it, what is with this love affair of everybody wanting to be like a bad guy? Like, have we screwed up in our storytelling and, and, and culture so badly that people don't want to be heroes anymore? I mean, that's a problem. Anyway, I'm done ranting and I will talk to you guys later. Good journey. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends or anybody else who might be interested in this kind of content. If you happen to be in the Metro Phoenix area, come in for a class or just stop in to say hi. We'd love to meet you. Definitely check out our socials and our website that has all of our contact information and all of the other relevant information. And more than anything, check out our Substack. Our Substack will be containing all of the links that we, uh, that we use to uh, cite and reference uh, in our videos, as well as uh, exclusive training content that will be available for premium members. Memberships are cheap. 
but you can also sign up for free and we will have we do have articles for free and we will have more uh, free articles available for you it is a fantastic platform for what we're doing here and uh, we hope to see you over there so uh, i will talk to you guys later and uh, look out for the next one good journey